Hello there, this is the killer from Realm again. I'm here with Chris. Hello. And Chris and I are going to try out the new PA build. In this build, there is a planetary generator. Uh, so these, every time you start up the game now, the planet will be different. With all sorts of different biomes mixed together. And here I think we have a sort of desert e biome. And we have the poles, of course, which are cold. You have the mountain biome, which is black and with mountains and stuff, and you have the sort of greenish temperate biome. Don't you agree? Chris? Don't you agree, Chris? I wasn't. I I didn't actually read the patch notes. I'm taking your word for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, we have a planet generator now, which uh, which generates a planet with the tr these three biomes, which I think are the different biomes right now. So in the future, there will be all sorts of planets, like lava plants and everything. The way I, I read it, I thought that you said that there were three different planets to choose from, but if they're randomly generating the planets now, then that's fine by me. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Well, which unless we're wrong. The same one over and over again. Yeah, which is way better, because we already started recognizing the map and everything, and having our favorite places and stuff. But that's not Has the case it, here. Um, allowed you to spawn in yet? Oh, I'm, I'm just looking at the planet right now. I'm just... Oh, right, okay. Is this one bigger than the other ones? It it seems to be bigger. I don't bigger. think so. I don't think so. No. Oh. All right. I'll just. All right. I'm just going to click up on a location and start annihilating. All right. Oh yeah. All oh, right. So it's just Chris and me in this match. There's no other people. Well, the a the bloody AI f thingies. And we're just going to see and and look at what all the things that changed since the last build. Because in the last build it was very easy to see the enemy through the Fog of War. They said they updated Fog of War a bit and I want to know if they removed the ability to see the others' factories before scouting them. Because that was a big game-breaking bug. Also they said they, they, they made the performance of the game better, which should work out for Chris. Because Chris was reporting a bit of performance issues about 20 minutes into the game. So if we look at the clock we a bit, see. yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We have to. Well, I haven't got a particularly slow computer, but as I've observed elsewhere on the forums and such, there's um there are certain certain um hardware specifications which work well. I mean, even some fairly low end PCs have been running this at perfectly high range per second, and uh, certain other machines which have you know very good rigs with i7 processors and lots of graphics memory and RAM. I've been having real performance issues. And yeah. Mine falls into the latter category, unfortunately. No, I've just built my first factory. Are you able to see it? Well, I should know where you are first. Yeah, I can see it. You're uh, near the North oh. Pole, n next to a giant crack and, and a lot of water. We're fairly close together, so we can try to show off some nice land battles oh, and stuff. Heck. I just built a factory inside another factory. How do I stop this? So, oh yeah, I can, s I can even see that. So, building stacking is still fairly much into the, in the game. Well, perhaps they'll fix that later. Oh god, this is broken. <laughs> what, what's, what's happening, Chris? Oh, it's, uh, I don't think my construction vehicle's sort of stuck inside the factory, which is built inside the factory, so... Uh, oh, that's not nice, is it now? What's he doing? No, he's just gonna sit there, isn't he? Oh no, he's gone, he's finished, he's done it, he's out, okay. It's a bit, bit glitchy, bit haphazard, but it's working. Have you noticed, Chris, that the power plant size has di has, has changed? Yeah, they were huge. Though. Uh, yeah. They were just stupidly large. There was no need for them to be that big. Yeah, they're smaller now, which which works out better. It looks more natural this way. I mean, they're just yes. tire one power plants anyway. Also, the the devs stated that there would be balance changes, but they didn't go in further than that. So I wonder if the big ass Leviathans were the name, right? Big ass warships I have been nerfed so. a bit. Yeah, I hope so because. And to be honest with you, uh, since you kicked Big Otis's backside with battleships, I think they're fairly aware of the problem. <laughs> well, let's hope so. Do you do you know what kind of role Big Otis has in the dev team anyway? I have absolutely no idea. I've seen him on the forums a bit. I mean, but um. No, I presume he's um, a technical member of some description. Yeah. He comes under the site admins category. Yeah, I think so, yeah. 
Right, I can't see you yet. Have you built a factory? Or are you doing that little turkey thing where you don't build a factory until later on in the game? Oh no, you're doing the naval factory thing, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, you are. Are you already scared, Chris? You bastards. You're scared, yes, aren't I'm you? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris is scared. Ah, oh, you'll be you'll be fine. Don't you worry. Everything will be over soon. I don't doubt that for a second. I'm trying to remember what what the other changes with this patch, but I'm wor I worry that if I all tap out, that the recording will stop. Oh. Oh, I could just restart you it then. Look them up or? Uh, no, I'll just check it. No, the recording is still going. All right, let's let's just check out the points. I'm just building my base anyway. Kill him while he's AFK. No, I'm not AFK. I'm I'm. I'm that's the beauty of having this uh, planetary cli annihilation client uh, window. You could just drag over all sorts of other stuff. So the random planets is one thing we already discussed. Performance improvement. And they also said that recon continues to improve, but obviously we can still see each other's factories through the fog of war. Chris, try something out quickly. If, if you press Ctrl S, it should mute your sound. Does it? Yeah. Cool. It does. And there's all sorts of other stuff which doesn't really apply to us. They say they reduce, they clamp the frame rate to 100, 100 frames per second, which is weird because I never ever had frame rates above 120 frames per second. What are you Mine doing with your? Doing 20 at the start of the game. Yeah. Am I poking you? Yeah, he's poking you. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm frozen. There we go, back in the game. Take that, and that, and that. Yeah. Why are you these weapons? You just land in your base. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens with air. They just start to decide to land, which can be very frustrating when your big ass mass of Tech 2 bombers decides to land in the enemy base, then gets hit by a rogue, rogue um, artillery shell. But anyway, of the other changes. I don't know what that means, frame rate clamped to 100 fr frames per second, because I don't think anyone ever went above 100 frames per second, 120 frames per second. They're lucky if they were. Yeah, I think so. But would you really need that in a strategy game? I don't think so, do you? Well, I'd be happy with a constant 30, that'd be happy, uh, you know, that's perfectly playable for me. Yeah, but Chris, we can't all get what we want, do we now? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I want to win this game, for example. Yeah. I think you're a bit too early on uh, switching to your bloody advanced economy. I think you're going to stall quite hard now. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, are you now? Yeah. Now, I've just noticed there are mass points still spawning underwater. Are you able to build on those? What do you mean, mass points underwater? Well, they're, they're, they're in here graphically, but they don't actually have a function yet. You can see them on the ground, the little yeah, I know. snivers. But what about mass points in the water? I can't see anything there. Well, I can see a couple. I think I can build on it, actually. I'm looking uh, at your sea right now, but I don't see any mass points in there. I can't ping it, you can I, but it's to no. the... If I rotate myself orient north, it's just to the south, that little body of water there. One in there. Obviously, like in the deep. Oh yeah, I see it now. Yeah, it's in the shallow water, closer yes. to my base. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh, got the circle come up. Um, the wi the windows loading circle. The windows loading circle. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? We we used to, we used to do it at leg time, but they replaced it with a circle because it's more uh -huh. aesthetically pleasing. Of course. <laughs> sure, mate. Um. My commander has fallen through the planet. Your commander is gone. Oh, it's going to be very hard for me to win then, is it now? Oh no, my apologies. He's stuck inside of an energy generator. Oh. Well, at least you know where he is now. Uh, my game is freezing. Ah, oh, here we go. There were some lag spikes over there. So let's check out some of these other changes. The primary armor, armory co army color can't be the, sh the, the, the same again between enemies. Well, that makes sense. 
Should be an easy fix, don't shouldn't it? You'd like to think so. Yeah. In, this is more for the models. You can no, no longer make changes to client factory and engineer build specs. Uh, it's probably uh, they'll probably re release more model tools later. Currently, there's already a model forum on the planetary annihilation side of the Uber forum. So, there's a, the Uber is fully supportive of models, but probably not with this build. They don't want people to change around too much, I think, or perhaps there's another reason that we're unaware of. Right, there's not fixed pathfinding adequately. My commander's currently doing laps of my air factory instead of building the thing that I've told them to build. Yeah. Pathfinding is always an ongoing issue, especially in alphas. Oh come on, you must have done that lap seven times now. Laugh out of it. Go. They've made some camera fixes to improve transition to and from Celestial through few. Are they now? That's yeah, that's M, what they say. Oh, not M, not M, what's, what's, what's uh, C? No. Now we have a period on the key on your... Ah! And now my strategic icon not appearing on the sun, which is good, but my frames per second has... Oh no, they are still appearing on the sun. Yeah, yeah they Strate didn't fix that yet. Are still appearing on the sun. Yeah. I, I, I find it incredibly hard that this moon is teasing us all the time and you can't build there yet. It's just there to tease oh, us. Can. Oh, yeah, you can with an with an exploit. You can. Oh, this is nice. I'm I sh I'm switching to the sun now, apparently. Which is odd. Oh. Yeah. Kind of strange. Oh, apparently, if you zoom out um hard enough, if you are on your regular base, you zoom out far enough, you go to sun. Okay, no, work on that. If you switch to the moon, then you to zoom out. Oh, it's not doing it now. That's obviously a bug. It wasn't supposed to do that. I think so, yeah. Or it's, but, but or it's if not fully implemented feature. But they did make it easier when you're in Celestial View and you zoom in on a particular body in the sky, then you then you start to then you get locked to that body and you zoom in there. So as, as soon as you are, are in Celestial View, it's very easy to zoom in on planets, which which. Um, which should probably be there because in the future you'll have multiple planets, asteroids, moons all over the bloody place. Oh, absolutely. So it's probably a not quite implemented or partially implemented or accidentally implemented feature at this point. Yeah, probably. Yeah, this does seem to be running in general a fair bit smoother and much closer to 30 frames per second for me. Yeah, I'm running a fairly constant 30 or 20 frames per second here, so should be cool. With the additional lag spike every now and then, but don't think you can really well, do yeah, much that about that. That's, that's tolerable, but I was, I was playing games before and it was just... It wasn't much fun. It's quite hard getting gross when your screen is literally passing you by in skills. Selecting units is still a bit wonky though. It will probably be that case for a long time in the alpha. Yes. But that's the whole point of alpha, isn't it? Of course. Yeah. The whole balancing it's stuff nice. will come in beta, most of it. Most of it. Well, I hope they start. Well, they said they've, they've made some balancing issues. I would like to think that they've nerfed base defenses quite heavily because I was playing a game against some random fellow the other day, um, and basically I had the issue with the frames and it was playing at two frames per second. And rather than just quit the game, I said, "Go on, then come and come and finish me off quickly." Uh huh. And what uh, happened? Over the chat, over the chat panel, and it took him about f fifteen to twenty minutes just to overpower my base defenses. And he was on a full, you know, no one had really had a chance to challenge in that game. He had a full working economy, loads of tech two factories. He was pumping out units, and it took him a fair old while to get into my base. Something up. So, I'm oh, sorry. I pray they nerfed base defenses. That's fine. Well, we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Indeed, we will. Uh, I have seen a very interesting discussion on the forums um, by a certain Colonel Jessup. Uh, they were raising the issue of um, in total annihilation, which you haven't played, um, but for those who have, um, what 
used to have the Tech 1 and Tech 2 mass extractors, or metal extractors, my apologies, um, and you used to have to demolish or, rec or reclaim your Tech 1 mass extractor to build your Tech 2 on the deposit. At the moment, we're not building on deposits, but when we are, that's basically, the argument is going on the forums, somewhere along the lines of, that's an increased level of micro, which we don't really need. So the, yeah. the suggestion was to have your Tech 2 engineers able to build your Tech 2 mass extractors on top of your Tech 1 extractors. Yeah, yeah, I read that one, and they all, some, someone else also uh, um, proposed the idea of the Supreme Commander style of doing and just upgrading the building with uh, being able to upgrade the building without an engineer helping out I'm doing absolutely almost no damage to this structure at all my commander's decided he doesn't want to attack you today ah well that's fine he, just, he wants to walk towards you menacingly apparently oh well it, 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 off. it felt very <laughs> threatening I need to build more shit. There should be a voice in the game that tells you to build more shit as soon as you hit your cap in in, in metal and energy storage. I'm sure there'll be a mod for that. Yeah, you could. Yeah, probably. Like you had in the Command and Conquer games uh, with insufficient funds. Yeah, someone here yelling yelling at you. You need to build more shit. It could work, don't you think? It could work. Uh, in theory, in theory, you should always be watching your economy anyway. And you should know as soon as you've got any surplus, you should be building. But as, as we both know, it doesn't always work that way. Yeah, good point. Oh, for goodness sake, this stupid thing with people just abandoning their queue orders. I queued up some storage facilities earlier on. And uh huh. The unit that was doing it decided it could be wrong with now. I don't have storage facilities. <sighs> Probably just start thinking about building something maybe in military around the place, shouldn't I, really? You don't have any units yet. No, that's not really smart of you, is it now? I've done worse. What's the worst you've ever done in a strategy game? Oh, I have to give me, a, give me a minute or two to think, actually. <laughs> so much to choose from. Well, exactly. Got to say. This planet. Uh, generation is very interesting. We have got these two huge cracks running all the way across the surface, like over half the planet. So, yes, the random generator can propose some very interesting scenarios, and every scenario will be different in the future. This, this is, this is very cool. However, oh, yeah, I actually, I mean, graphically, if you actually put your camera over the top of the uh, the ravines, you can see right down there, and I imagine that when it comes to actually putting rocks into the side of these planets, they're going to form a key part of the whole not staying together very long thing. Yeah, could be. Could be that the pl plant will crack all, all the way along this one, this one ravine. I'm just I using spacebar to look around for a bit. Yeah. Mm. I'd imagine that from a technical perspective, the planet must already, when it gets generated, have its predisposed chunks to separate into an event of an asteroid strike, because I can't imagine that they would create a new entity for it. I um, don't know, I'm... Hmm, perhaps, perhaps, I don't know. If we're lucky, if we're really lucky, we might get an Uber employee coming on the video later on and let us know. Oh, it could be, if, if we're popular enough that we can actually get people on this this thing, but I don't know. Something for the future, perhaps. Come on, Commander, start building. But I wonder what kind of influence le uh, always having random pl uh, generated planets have on stuff like eSports. In eSports you very much want to have standardized maps. What do you think about that? Um, 
Well, it adds an element of chance, an element of luck, which, as you say, in, in any sport, be it an e-sport or a real sport, you want to remove, if at all possible. Um, it's possible that in a, in a, for an e-sport, they may have a pre-made uh, solar system with players to start on, and that removes some of the element of chance, because then they get a chance to sort of learn it. But, I mean... I can't see that there would be a thriving esport community around a randomly generated um, scenario. Because, as I say, the, the removing the element of chance is absolutely key to competitive yeah. gameplay. If, if, if you know, if you're if there's money on the table for it, and people are not going to want anything left to chance. Yeah, certainly. But for for fun games like this, it works out very well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it increases the oh. replayability so much. They also, you yet fixed yeah. the issue with units getting stuck in the factory uh. when being built. Actually, that's brought two of mine into a halt already. Uh. Oh, they've come out of the factory and they've decided they want to go flying into space. Oh, make a screenshot of it. Stuff like that is always hilarious. They changed the look of the fabrication, uh, the advanced fabrication ship. I wonder how it looks now. Oh, it looks very speedboat-ish, like a fast ship. Should be cool. Yeah, I think there's definitely a few issues with orders being given and being followed at the moment. What kind of issues are you having then? Well, units basically saying they're not bothered. That's the gist of it. And so, first of all, I've got these ones who are sat AWOL about um, 50 metres off the ground. They're just sort of. They're sort of what? Yeah, they, so they're, they're literally hovering about 50 meters off the ground, completely unable to do anything with them. They're just there. I was just, I'll put a screenshot on and I'll file a bug report later, probably. Yeah, or they perhaps it was already reported. We don't know, actually. Well, there is that. Yeah. I'll, I'll see. Anyway. I'll, I'll pop onto the bug track when we're done here, and I'll pop it on there. I'll yeah, cool. Confirmed or as a uh, bug. This build was only actually pushed out an hour ago, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. so... Yeah, true. Oh, hello. Hello. You finally found a place with three tanks if you died earlier. I didn't realize it was that much. Christ. I like to build stuff. You should too. You should always build more stuff. I know you should always build more stuff, but at the moment I'm sort of struggling with some mutinying units. Oh, what you pull it? oh fine, I've got to build another bot factory because it's just not playing ball with me at the moment. But. Fingers crossed, I've still got my 30 frames per second, so they've definitely made some optimizations. Yeah, I have 20 minutes passed already then? Well, I think so. Probably. I don't, I don't know. know. I, find. I, I, I think about half an hour passed, actually. Jeez, we've been talking for a long time. Let's go back to that list of changes. Uh, floating laser defense redesign. We'll see that fast soon enough. And frigate redesigned to look more unique from the destroyer. Hmm, so a lot of changes to the ships, how they look. Mm -hmm. 
frigate is the anti-air, anti-ship, and the destroyer is the anti-land, anti-ship. I should probably build a navy. Should you now? Oh, they still haven't fixed the bug where an advanced radar shows all the blips on the map before you completed it either. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's odd. Huh. Well, look at this floating ships. <laughs> oh, it's not going to war, is it? When you say floating, I presume that you mean on the surface of the water. That's why ships are supposed to float, of course. No, floating in the air. Oh, I made some ships yes. and I gave them a move order and it just rose up, rose up into the air. Which is... odd. You say odd, I say feature. Oh Christ alive! And I can't. Oh my goodness me! They've done it again. All the storage. What? They just don't want to build storage facilities. Whenever it tells me to build a storage facility, it just refuses outright. I've got a stairway to heaven made out of ships now. Oh, I'm trying to see this. Big old boat. Maybe something happened to it. No, oh, you killed one of my ships, didn't you? No. Don't hurt me. What? All my. Suddenly I have building units ru running out of my base towards your base. Why did you send a construction plane at me? Because they just decide to follow these orders now. And you're making none of my stuff shooting at them, more importantly. That's also a good point. Yeah. They probably have a few issues with this build. Yeah. Let's throw that out there. You have a shipyard on the same body of water as me. That is not nice. There. Yeah, that could be a problem for you. It could. If I put a stop to your shenanigans. Okay, here comes the frame rate drop. I think. Are you moving something? It's quite a large body of water, don't you think? It is. I already feel the people on YouTube yelling at me to build more shit. Too much production, need to build more units and buildings and everything in between. Oh god. Frame rate drop. Stupid. Yeah, it's pretty abysmal, and the planes have run out of bombs. They only get two. But they're pretty potent, I suppose, so... Are you talking about your uh, bombers now? Your Tech Hill bombers you're making? I think the Tech 1 bombers, I think, have a longer... Um, longer usage period. I think they've got quite a few less resource intensive bombs as the attack 2 bombers have got only very few bombs but they're pretty potent as you just saw yeah you just destroyed two of my naval factories I don't like that I'm going to punish you for it no you won't I've run out of bombs again they only get one bomb they don't even get several they only get one depends on your energy economy doesn't it 
Well, they, my energy economy is absolutely fine, but they're still not recharged. Oh, look at an army. Ah, you're no match for my base defences. I'm seeing a brutal. Well, yeah. where's the rest of your defenses? They were somewhere in that area that you just um, destroyed. Yeah, I'm on the side of the I've got no way of stopping you. I can't react in time. Ah, oh, Chris, I expected more of you. Yes, no, you did. Go, Bombers. Finish him. I've got the feeling that artillery is working better now. As in, they, they actually yeah. shoot build buildings instead of just randomly decide whether or not they are, they are feeling like attacking. Yes. Right, I survived that one. Yeah. Well, you actually died, but No. Commander I killed your fine. I killed your commander, it's mate. It's, it's not fine. Wound. It's flesh wound. <laughs> Is it now? <laughs> go. Go, bombers, go. I don't think I you're going to be able to defeat this base. I've got like a screen full of base right now. We're going to be measuring base sizes by by number of screens you can fill them with. Oh, I uh, I think actually there is a an assassination win condition at the moment. Is there now? Why? Because my economy storage is currently displaying zero. On ah, yeah, you're dead. You're dead. So. Still building stuff. Yeah, but you, can you ex actually control stuff? Yeah. Oh. So there is a win condition, but there isn't a lose condition yet. You win by being the last commander in the match, but you don't lose if you lose your commander, probably to make people able to bug test or Uber couldn't be bothered to put in a lose condition yet. Perfectly so losing at this stage is quite annoying. Yeah, so I think it's fair to say that this match is about over. Or I don't think the people want me to s want to see me scout out an entire plan to find two arbitrarily defenseless AI people. No, I think that's probably a good a good place to leave it. To be honest yeah. with you. Do you have any final words, Chris? Um, no. <laughs> 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 well, I'm anyway. I'm nothing interesting to say. I'm the killer from the realm. And I was here with Chris, also known as the wrong cat. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll let you, I'll let you wrap up. I'll show you. <coughs> and go watch our other videos. We've got, we've got all, so, all, all sorts of uh, interesting stuff from Planet Side to upcoming MOBA games and everything. But uh, my main focus will be this Planet Terror Annihilation. And I hope. And thanks for watching. And find us at realm online come to UK. I've I messed up the site a bit, didn't I? Anyway, you can find it in the description. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys.